Hey guys, we are at the Westward Look Gym and Mineral Show here in Tucson. It's a bit of a more upscale uh, resort slash um, hotel and my first time here so I'm excited to check it out. I've never been here and I've been kind of told, hey, come check this out. So here I am. So here it is. They're just uh, hotels one after another with different vendors and uh, looks like it's really high-end stuff so we'll check it out see that it's really cool all right guys the first stop is the Arkenstone this is gonna be cool this looks like uh, pink appetite Wow this is pink appetite from Brazil for me, that's Jais. Beautiful. That's amazing. Is that cut plate next to it? Wow. Yeah. It's yeah, pretty good, you know, and, and it's not an emerald cut. So and then up here we have uh, looks like an aquamarine on quartz, most likely from Brazil as well. Gorgeous. A lot of people, um, when I make these videos, they ask me about like the price and description. Well, if I can get it, I will, but this one doesn't have anything. Remember, most of these things are price on request anyway. So, let's keep going. First cabinet. No, we were there Oh my gosh, guys. Uh, Look at that tourmaline! The, the and five, Amazing. Yeah, we did have time to oh, that. It's well, definitely very high end. They gave me a whole case. Look at that. Uh, Kunzite, tourmaline. Oh, I know. I know. Dioptes. Oh my gosh. The deal with, the deal with Guys, you that's from Nambia. Oh, Look at the sofa I, right I here. I technically own the collection. That's amazing. Okay. Check out the Boar Knight, I believe is what it's called, on quartz. The Yaogan Qing Mine in China. A lot of fluorites from here, but that's very interesting. I love the tourmalines in the back. That's amazing. And down here, you know, I think I've seen this gold specimen uh, from the Arkenstone before. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the fluorite. And the quartz. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And down here we have a tourmaline on a feldspar with clevendite from Afghanistan. Look at the formation on that, guys. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a starburst, kind of like a flower. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Finally on the bottom, I really, really like this one right here. The uh, calcite or calcite on calcite. But they look good yeah. So you know. I mean that's just a stunner right there. Look at that, guys. Oh gosh. It's from. Uh, I'm actually not sure of that province, but it's from China. Cool. Oh look, here, here's the ones that sold. The pyrite. The calcite with pyrite. It's sold. What did you say? He's got to be older. Hmm. All right, moving on. Yeah, he's got to be. Because second cabinet, we have a silver specimen. For about nine years. Cool. And that was the year actually that I bought that. And now we have an emerald. Oh, that's be beautiful. And that was like nine years ago, and he was. Oh, look at the rotocorsite, guys. Look at this rotocorsite from the Sweet Home Mine. From Colorado. It's gorgeous. 
he said, uh, but I mean, you know, I have a new girlfriend. I'm probably going to marry her. And I said, it's a tough hand. I said, oh, how are you? So he good. He says, 20 it looks, it looks terrible. I said, oh. Some damn. of these pieces I've, <laughs> I've seen before from the Arkenstone, they, I don't think, I don't know whether but they also have new that. stuff here. Well, new yeah. finds. Yeah. Tourmaline. Wow. Well, yeah, his, his first wife died. Yeah. And if you want a psychological explanation. Gorgeous. Is the yeah. Looking for, uh, Okay. Well, we are going to move on here. Look at this, guys. There's a piece in here that's sold. <laughs> ah, excuse me. I really want to see this one. It's Morganite with Quartz from Afghanistan. And it's sold. And it's sold. Don't ask me about the price. It doesn't have the price. Nothing in here has a price tag. Wow. Look at the halite. Oh, wow. Never seen that before in my life. Oh, this is this is a nice piece of uh, uh, Yao Gan Xing. No, Xiao Hua Ling, uh, fluorite, you know, like calcite. This material I actually, I have a lot of. No, no, nothing that size, but it is nice. Look at that, rose quartz. Beautiful. And the uh, disco ball apothalite. Amazing. Okay. And here's the last cabinet. Now, if you want to bid, you can bid. But I think the reason why there's no price tag on these is because it's all for bidding online. So, yeah. That is the biggest ruby I've ever seen in a hexagonal natural formation from India. No price tag. These are all uh, bidding online only. So, don't ask me about the price. <laughs> this is the final cabinet. Gorgeous. I'll do a quick pan over and head out here. The Arkansas always has really good stuff. Beautiful. Here's the labels for you guys who are interested in this stuff. Um, Elbite, rhodocorsite to the left, and then to the right you have a uh, rubellet and quartz. That's actually from California. See, that's not Minas Gerais. That's not Brazil. It's California. It's very interesting. Very good. So, um, we will head out now. Cool. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Next one. Paula Minerals or Paula International. Yep. Let's see what they got. This is uh, probably one of the more impressive topazes I've seen from Burma. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's amazing. This cabinet's very nice. Over here is a morganite on feldspar with uh, clevonite from Afghanistan. Ooh, look at this herc from the Ace of Diamonds. Seventy-five hundred. <laughs> There's your price tag. Okay. Wow, look at the dioptase. The green on that. Hmm. Down here we have some very impressive clear aquamarine. It's aquamarine, but it's clear. Pakistan. This captain is also very impressive. I really am keen on this aquamarine right here from Pakistan. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous formation. And then up above that is a, a Swiss quartz. Not necessarily Gwindo, but it's a it's a twin twin elastio. That's amazing. The clarity on that. Oh gosh. 
Oh, superb. Tourmaline and Quartz from Afghanistan. Here's another uh, Topaz right here. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love Topaz. Uh, 25K on that. 25,000 from Burma. Wow. Sorry, guys. It's uh, kind of loud in here, but um, still show you guys the minerals. Look at this super aesthetic tourmaline, watermelon tourmaline. You can see the, it's so clear. You can see the watermelon, uh, the red on the inside. Beautiful. It's probably the most aesthetically pleasing tourmaline I've seen so far. From Minas. Minas Gerais, Brazil. Okay. It's beautiful. Oh, gosh. It's a variety of tourmaline there. Albite. Albite. Thank you. Albite from Paul. Thank you. Beautiful. Been there. Been there, yeah. Pretty fabulous. Terminally yeah. Kegel. Oh, Look at the epidote. 1922 in Pakistan. And, uh, Interesting. 2022 in January. 20. Price on that? Hey. 6,000? Yeah, 6,000. 6, <laughs> 100 years later. <laughs> Very expensive. Yeah, it is, yeah. So if you were waiting for them to find it, I'd be able to wait 100 years. <laughs> Look at the Azurite. Right. Yeah. Pretty rare. Beautiful. We'll just reprice them because they go sterile if they're left in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. These are new, yeah. new, new find from the yeah, King Mine, the Tourmaline King Mine. Uh, probably like Beautiful yeah, pink rubellet tourmaline. Stunning. Oh, I know. I know. I'm sure he did. Here's, oh, of Here's a little description here for you guys. Can you say tourmaline? <laughs> cool. Okay, so I'm going to check out these two Pinnacle 5 minerals and unique minerals from Evan A. Jones. And then we'll move on. There's a lot of stuff to see here. And I uh, don't know if I can get it all on the vlog. I'll try to. Maybe I'll separate it. I don't know. So we're going up now. Let's start. There's a lot of people in there. Let's start with the Pinnacle 5. So. I thought it was a, it like a lot of uh, Lake George, Colorado, Smoky Quartz, and Amsonite. It's beautiful stuff. I need to get one of the stalactites. I believe it's Lake George. Let me see. Yeah, Telecom, Colorado. Gorgeous. Literally just been here. 20 seconds for each show. Look at that. Uh, if you're looking for the chloride one. Beautiful. I think you're going to find it. Well, I know you will. I'll be quiet. I doubt very much you'll find a better one. That's about the best right. one. Can we took first pick of everything yeah. that was coming out. Yeah. So. It's a little Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, okay. Oh, right. check out that cluster. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I've only gotten out of my room to go to other Price shows. tag on that. Mm. <laughs> Price on request. P.O.R. So, yeah. <laughs> Very pricey. Very pricey minerals. But gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. All right. Well, that cluster of hotels was interesting. Or rooms, rather. Um, we're gonna move on now, and uh, behind me is another cluster of four, like uh, four rooms or resorts or whatever, you know. And uh, they have each has an individual company inside of it, selling minerals and stones. So let's go check that out. It's right here. <laughs> so um, this cabinet right here. This in the center you have is golden amber retile from India. That's gorgeous. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've just started to see this uh, material in Tucson this year. Look at that. The light kind of reflects it, so the camera might not pick it up as good, but you guys can still see the very fine needle-like strands of golden amber retile inside that quartz. Very nice. Very nice. These uh, these fluorites uh, with rosettes of quartz. It's kind of like a 
like a burgundy colored uh, fluorite. This is I've seen this material before, but uh, uh, that comes out of China, I believe, or Inner Mongolia. One of those, off the top of my head. Beautiful. So over here we got some more of the fluorites, some tourmalines. Oh gosh. I like how they have their display. This is much more uh, <laughs> uh, organized and presentable, I think, than others. So kudos to them on that. Sulfur. Beautiful yellow sulfur. Sicilian sulfur. So here's a, here's another example of the uh, golden retile in uh, quartz from India. Um, let's see if I get the label for you guys here. The exact province, because some people want to know that. There you go. There's a prize too. So again, this is actually the first time I've seen this stuff. Don't know if it's a new find. You guys also have to keep in mind, we didn't have a main show last year and because of COVID, uh, Tucson was postponed until mid-April. So a lot of vendors at the show, not just high-end shows like this, but smaller shows, um, they've had nothing but time to, to stock up on material, mine, find new stuff, whatever. So <laughs> everybody's eager to show, showcase all their recent findings this year. They've had two years to do it since, you know, COVID. And uh, I've been seeing a lot of stuff here. <laughs> it's a beautiful cabinet. <laughs> nice. Brazilian uh, retile. Hematite and golden retile. More hematite in these specimens. So now we're going into Marcus, uh, can't say his last name, uh, minerals. <laughs> Let's check it out. He's from Monaco. Interesting. So starting off here, I'm seeing some really impressive minerals, man. Let's start off with the Tanzanite. Beautiful. My gosh. From Tanzania, of course. The Tanzanite is just... Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Here's another one up here. Next to the Vanadinite from Morocco. Gorgeous Tanzanites. Gosh. Look at this cabinet, guys. Oh, the Azurite. Beautiful. The Tourmalines. It's got a photo of it. Nice. So here, guys, is a Gwindel, uh, a smoky Gwindel from Switzerland. But actually, I've never seen this on a, on a matrix like that. So that's very unique. That's very beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Down here, we have an amethyst. Uh, where is this from? India. Yeah, Indian amethyst. India does produce amethyst. Not much, but it's very unique. All right, moving on. Wow, look at this cabinet. Wow, wow, wow. Oh man, look at the, uh, look at that perfectly terminated amethyst point just sticking out from Nambia. The, the color saturation on these points are just insane. Spectacular. Here's another vanadinite. A big cluster of it from uh, Morocco. Gorgeous. Another tanzanite. He has a lot of he has a lot of very nice tanzanites. Very nice. Beautiful. It's easily like two million dollars in this cabinet right here. Maybe more or less. It's hard to price these things. They're really subjective. Over here are some 
Oh my gosh, tourmalines from Russia. Wow. Red, rubelet tourmaline it seems. A very dark kind of ruby, almost like a, like a Cabernet color. Yeah, like a Cabernet, Cabernet colored uh, tourmaline. Beautiful. Now here's another one. Here's a label. So good. Here's a whole cabinet of uh, Vanadinite. Vanadinite, sorry. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. From Morocco. Huge, beautiful gemmy crystals on that piece. No price tag, no label. Uh, I'm sure, if you are interested, you could probably get something here for a good deal. Probably yeah, not, to be yeah, honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And on the bottom here, we have a massive cluster. What I love most about bandanites is how it just kind of sprinkles on top, uh, like water droplets, and then it grows. Forms these massive crystals. You're not going to find this material, actually. You won't find uh, quality like this anymore. All of this, I think, came out of a 2018 mine, I think. It doesn't come out this good now. Check out these tourmaline clusters. Now, it looks black, but uh, might be translucent all the way through. That's amazing. Gosh. Where are these tourmalines from? Stibnite from China. Oh, Stibnite from China. Oh, my mistake. Stibnite from China. Wow. It's got kind of a metallic uh, gray uh, hue to it. Very nice. Very nice. Guys, look at this. Look at that citrine. Wow. The color on that, and next to the citrine, look at that tourmaline. Straight up. Amazing. That's a killer right there. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Well, guys, we have uh, uh, the awesome owner here of Green Mountain Minerals to tell us what uh, what he's got. So we're looking at a very away. beautiful fluorite from Yao Gan Shen with a little quartz crystal on the top. It's gorgeous. Looks like an owl. Some people would oh, yes. say it's reminiscent of the alien eye pocket from Arango, Namibia. Beautiful. So tell me how, how these, how does that inclusion form, the uh, different hue, the different color right there, the phantom, if you will? The phantom zoning? Yeah. Well, there's another mineralization that gets included while the fluorite is forming. Gotcha. And that's a beautiful piece. Let's come over here. Okay. And let's take a look at this kunzite. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at the color. That saturation is, <laughs> it's insane. This is from the Urukum, from Minas Gerais, Brazil. Ah. Some of the finest kunzites in the world come from there. From Minas? Yes, from Brazil. Wow, 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 wow. Gorgeous. Actually, this whole cabinet is just amazing. Uh, Look at the Romanian calcite. Wow. It's a sphere. <laughs> wow. It has cal uh, inclusions of boulangerite. Boulangerite. Boulangerite inclusions. Wow. That's what colors it black. That's gorgeous. And here's a little mushroom from Downlagorsk. Downlagorsk, Russia. There you go. Wow, look at that. Little pyrite sprinkles on the top. Mm-hmm. That's just gorgeous. And over here, there's a rhodochrosite from China. Wow. Hey. Whoa, from China. From now this the, from the Wutong mine. Wow. Rhombohedral style crystals, rather than scalonohedral, much more rare from there. Yeah, it, it reminds me of the Sweet Home Mine, honestly. I, at first glance, I... <laughs> yeah. 
Um, guys, I'm here at the uh, Scott Rudolph Mineral Collection, and uh, I see these guys in, in the, at the Tucson Main Show here and there, but they're not going to be there this year, so I'm, I'm glad I came out here, actually, to the uh, Westward Inn the resort. Wow. So I wanted to show you guys this whole cabinet. He's got some of his personal not-for-sale stuff here, but look at that. Look at the quartz. <laughs> My gosh. Look at this. It's like a plume. It goes up like, like an atom bomb. <laughs> Plumes up. And these these hoops, this is like Arches National Park in Utah. <laughs> but it's fluorite from India. That's amazing. The pyrites. Now here, here's not for sale. This is just for your viewing pleasure. Personal collection. I wouldn't sell these either. It's amazing. Look at the Azrite from Mexico. Let me zoom in on that for you guys. Gosh. Check out this rhodonite. Look at the uh, dark pink hue saturation on that. From Minas Gerais. I just came back from Minas a month ago. That was fun. And here's a uh, Alucas from Boyaca, Colombia. I might be saying that wrong. And Wolfenite. It's probably the most impressive Wolfenite I've ever seen. The uh, Scott Rudolph Collection. Down here we have uh, some hematite. Some calcite on hematite. Gorgeous. Some zeolites down there. Quartz. Beautiful. Scoliosite on pothlite. There you go, guys. Do you ever see a rhodonite or any mineral with such a red color? No, it's fabulous. The azurite no, is the best one I've ever seen. Here's a row of aquas. Look at that. The clearest one on the left. All from Pakistan. For the price, if anybody's interested. There you go. 55K. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Green. Oh, geez, tourmalines, all from Afghanistan. Down here we have some azurites, some Mexican azurites. That is just stunning, guys. Amazing. Check out this fluorite. Look at that. That is something else. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Um, a lot of times you'll find these very high-end mineral dealers here in these kind of reclusive, kind of upper-scale resorts and inns, etc. in Tucson and also other gym shows. Um, you'll see them at the uh, main show as well, but they like to come here and you know be a little more, more reclusive and so see some really cool stuff here like um for example i've seen more of the european stuff the european minerals and the european vendors and dealers here that you wouldn't normally see um at tucson or, or you know even denver so my hair is getting blown all in the wind uh so that was cool you know and um i i guess i only i think i only got yelled at once yeah some guy with a bad bad attitude um was like don't film here and that happens all the time so you know, people are who they are. Nothing you can do about that. But I got, I managed to get some really awesome footage. Uh, saw some really cool minerals, and overall, it was a great experience. Very pricey, pricey minerals, but uh, you know, that's kind of what you get with the territory here. So, Westward Look Resort uh, Gym Show, and it only goes for three days. Only three days, and some some of these guys go back home. Some of these guys will show at the main show, which is coming up here as well. So. Thanks for checking this out and look forward to more of the uh, Tucson Gym Show vlogs coming up.